Okay, for our next video, we're gonna end up making our top of our lid. So we've made the bottom box already, so now we're gonna make the top one. So if I go through and I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna open my top mold box. Remember, this is the part that we made with the assembly in the very first video. So this is the same size as the other box, but it's a little bit too thick. So I wanna go ahead and make it a little bit thinner because I don't need it that, that thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on extrusion one and hit edit feature. And let's only make it three millimeters because that's how thick we made our tabs a little bit earlier. Oops, I gotta add the MM on it. So that this is now three millimeters thick and it's the same size as the box that we made around our assembly. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create a sketch. I'm gonna make the little tabs for this to fit in. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle on each of the four corners again. But instead of making them three millimeters, I want these to be a little bit bigger so that they fit. So I'm gonna do 3.1 millimeters. And again, I'm gonna hit that box. And then I'm gonna use that equal constraint again and make each one of them the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw another rectangle. I'm gonna dimension, oops, I'm gonna use my equal constraint, sorry. Say that this line has to equal this one. This has to equal that one. So again, I'm just making all my rectangles the exact same size. They're gonna be 3.1 millimeters using the equal constraint. And my fourth one. Equal constraint. That side has to be equal to that one. This one has to be equal to that one. Okay, so then now I'm gonna finish my sketch and I'm going to extrude those four rectangles, but instead of adding them, I'm going to cut them out so that they go in to those pegs that we've created. So this will sit right on top of that box that we've created on the last one and fit right in it. Now the next thing I do is I gotta make a hole for me to inject my hot glue or whatever substance we're gonna use. And in our case, we are gonna use hot glue. So I'm gonna do a circle right in the center of our box. Okay, now that is nowhere near the center. So the way, a tricky way to do it, because I don't know what these dimensions are because they were all based off an assembly. I can always dimension that from top to bottom and hit accept. And then I'm gonna go from the center to here and I'm gonna say it's this number divided by two. And that puts it all the way in the middle. So I don't have to know any of my measurements. It's all based on what this measurement was and something that I created to fit around my assembly that I have no idea what the size is. I just know that's what it is. So I'm gonna do the two ends and then I'm gonna say it's gonna go from here to here. And this dimension is gonna be this one up here, the top one, divided by two. Okay, uh, I want the center of my circle. Let's make it five millimeters. And then I wanna add, so this is where the hot glue is gonna go, but I also have to add air holes. So I'm gonna add a hole here and a hole over here. I want those to be three millimeters in length or in diameter, making sure I add the MM. And again, if I want to, I can say this one has to equal this one so that they're the same size. And I want those to be, um, let's make them five millimeters from the edge. No, no, they gotta be bigger than five. Let's make them uh, eight millimeters from the edge. So eight millimeters from that edge and eight millimeters from that edge. And they had to be more than five because remember we made a five millimeter wall all the way around the edge. So I want them close to the edge so the air can come out. Okay, so I got the three holes. This, the middle one's gonna be where we inject the hot glue. These are air holes, so as the glue goes in, the air comes out these two sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and extrude that, and I'm gonna cut those out. So I'm gonna hit extrude. I'm gonna click on the three circles, and I'm gonna change that to cut so that they all go away. Now, I wanna add a little bit of a lip around this, so my glue nozzle is not going to go into my box. So I'm gonna add another sketch right here. I'm going to create a circle Oops, I don't have the center, so if I project this circle right there, I can hit project geometry and then click on the circle. Go back and hit circle again. I want it to go around the outside edge, and let's make that, um, let's make that eight millimeters. So it's a three millimeters bigger. And then now I can finish my sketch, and I'm going to extrude just this donut. Oops, I gotta hit extrude first. I'm gonna hit that little donut shape, and let's go ahead and come up another uh, three millimeters. So it comes up just a little bit, higher than everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. So I have this box, the top of my lid, uh, this is called my top of my mold. It has the big hole in the middle that the glue gun's gonna go into. These are my air holes. And this just allows that tip not to hit the 
the bottom part of our of our mold that we're injecting into. So it just makes that tip stick out a little bit further. Um, in the next video, I'll go ahead and put it all together so you can see what it looks like.